Oh. Why is it that stuff happens the moment I hit start? Ugh. The moment I hit start, it feels like there's something in my eye. Ah. Oh. It's always something when I hit the start stream button. Oh my god. Okay, I think it's gone. Yeah. Anyway, uh, that aside, <clears throat> it's a nice day. Not nice enough to go goofing off outside, but nice enough that I feel like having myself a stream. So, it's time for more control. Yes, sir. -y. So yeah, as it said there in the title card, I might try tackle the anchor again, and I might try the jukebox again. Not right at the start, though. Later, we're gonna. I'm I'll, I'm gonna think about. It. Gonna think about it. Ugh. It's actually not that nice of a day. It's very humid. It's not as it hot, it's not as hot as it was a couple of weeks ago, but it's still the humidity does not help. Ugh. All right. Where were we going? I believe we just got something from our brother. Why did I say brother like that? Anyway, we were going to... Oh, we have this... Oh, we got like a side quest for mold removal. We'll do this first. We'll go hunt down these mold hosts. That seems like a perfectly sensible starting thing to do. Anything I can fuck with in here? No, I'm low on source. Ah, uh, fuck a jukebox. You know what, maybe hold off on the jukebox. It seemed, like, way too tough for what I got. Like, I need to do a lot more upgrading before I tackle the jukebox. Look at that Dave Izzo guy. If he didn't have a beard, I'd say he looked like an overgrown baby. That's a developer. That's mean. I probably shouldn't say that. Oh. They found Tony, uh, Solosti. Brooke Smith. She looks a lot like somebody I went to high school with. Eh. A lot of the guys have very similar beards. That looks like... That guy on the right, Jens Gr Grawl? He looks like somebody. Who am I thinking of? He looks like Lovecraft. And the only reason I was able to make that connection was because I saw Killian's most recent video, and he had, like, just a picture of Lovecraft's face. He has, like, very similar head shape. And, like, the eyes and... An he looks... He looks very... I... similar. Hang on a minute. H hang, 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 hang on a minute. I need to... Hang on. Hang on. We're gonna do a comparison here. Let me just grab the image. Hold on. He looks very similar, doesn't he? Hold on. Let's get the image, like, right next to him.
Jen's mouth is a little wider. Kind of similar? Am I crazy? Don't answer that. I am actually crazy. Be gone, Lovecraft. All right, where are we going? Research. Let's. We already started with the hosts and research. We may as well go back and finish the job. All right, we got this job after we got uh, what's her face. Her. Uh, we fought the big mushroom plant monster in the basement. What weapons do I currently got? All right, shatter and spin. Oh wait, they're all in the same sector. And there's like, I'm guessing three per area. Let's start high. Gotta remember the controls again. I think it was middle? It was. I had to remember which button did what. And these big guys aren't really that dangerous. Bodied. Whoa. Y'all need to chill. Oh shit. Run out of ammo so quickly. All right, I remember. I got like a rate of fire increase. Oh hey, there's the host. Hey, give me a thing. Give me a thing. Give me one. Give me more ammunition, buddy. I'm trying to get rid of that mold guy. Pardon me. He's just trying to walk up and, like, hit me? I don't... Am I even doing damage to it? I did some damage to it. Yeah, those things are... Kinda tanky. It is dark in here. Can I get some light? Come on. How did he even get up here? Okay, that one counted as being in here in research. This just it's probably not where I need to go. Is it in the toilets? Not in the toilets. Okay. 
Wasn't I already up here? But no, this is different. These are all closed doors. There's a lot of m mold up here. Pierce aimed fire boost. Ooh. Come on, you can make it. You can make it. Make it. Make it. Make it. Shit. Shit. Jumping's a little tricky. Oh, I'm already full on weapon mods? I thought I cleared some of these out before. I ended previous stream. If it's not a four or a five, we get rid of it. Damage while aiming, 43%. Sounds good. Wait a minute. Wasn't I just in this room? It's already repaired. Man, the house works quick. Whoa. Ah, fuck. I double pressed the button. Fuck. This may take a couple of attempts. I keep. I'm, I'm fucking it up. Oh, that's right, I can do the dash while I'm in the airborne. Okay, that changes things. That changes things. I don't have to just leisurely float over there. Aha. There's not even anything up here. more mold. This guy's up here. Is he missing his lower jaw? Ugh. He Ooh. He's already dead, but that still hurt. Whoa. I think I was already up here. We found a secret room up high in the wall before. Is this it? No, this isn't it. Oh, another hidden location. Okay, this is a new one. Wait a minute. We already found a room exactly like this in the... Yeah, we were already in a room exactly like this, downstairs. Salmon soup, torpedoes, saucers, one happy philosopher, my sister lives in Glasgow, magenta on Sunday, elevators tip me over. It's just a string of numbers, I don't know what any of that means. Sound and ballerinas at live at the oldest house. Ah oh, shit, it's Friday. Pentatoxic waste. The sound of bromance. Like eating a lemon in a hot tub. What? That's like, like pictures of the like the devs goofing off. I appreciate that when the devs like insert themselves in the game in humorous ways.
Okay, so the chair floats. And, like, her jacket is kind of wiggling. There's supposed to be music here, but I turned off the... I can't display it because I'm streaming. I don't want to take that risk, but you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna see what... I want to see what it sounds like. Hang on a minute. I'm gonna mute the game sound for a second and experience this for myself and tell you if it's good music or not. Ready? Audio off. You'll still be able to hear me, though. Um, let's see here. Unmute copyrighted music. Okay, yep, there is definitely music. Eh, kind of sounds all right. Don't recognize the sound, though, or the song. Wait a minute, the chair isn't floating anymore. Her jacket's wiggling, though. Hmm. This doesn't sound like something that would be copyrighted, but then again, you never know. I had that one video of that, uh... Assault... Hor there was part of that Assault Horizon game that I played that got copyrighted, but there wasn't any music. It was just like a tiny couple of seconds in a cutscene. It was really bizarre. Okay, I like this part. All right, this isn't going to be boring. This is going to be boring to watch since you can't hear it. Okay, I'm going to... Game audio back. Blah. Socks and ballerinas. Just a picture of a burger? With, like, a block of cheese instead of meat? I guess Socks and Ballerinas might be the name of the song. It's in here twice. I don't know. Ain't nothing else of value for us in, in, in us here. Uh, value for us in here. Sorry, I can words. Is there anything up there? No, it's just bright. Gone, healing sphere. <laughs> Moving with the shadow. Didn't even hit that hard. I think I pulled a rocket when I wasn't even intending to. Oh, that one hit me. Didn't do a lot of damage. Where these hordes are getting bigger. 
There's still one here in Central Research. Dimensional Research. There's something at the end of the hall here. Possibly changing labyrinth. And never pass through. Dimensional research. Every measure of security. Hmm. Made it sound like I'm not going to be able to get in there. The place turned. The light over there turns off whenever I turn. Okay. Ashtray maze. Nah, you're not getting through there. I love the... Love the coloring of the room. Oh. I see. That's neat. Part of the wall's damaged. Won't let you hop through, huh? Lame. Yeah, maybe we'll have to come here for some specific reason, but I'm not just gonna run around in circles forever. There's something over there called Firebreak. come out here and we're gonna get ambushed immediately, right? No? Okay. Well, I'm right by the door for... Actually, no, I'm not. That's Darling's... Yeah, maybe it's in Darling's office? Nope. No horrible mold creatures in Darling's office.
What's this? Whoa now. TOS. Put your shirt back on. Put your pants on. He's not even wearing pants. Oh, it's Darling. It's just one large scale HRA. It's an easy choice, it's no choice. It's there now. Protecting the most important thing. What's coming? I'll be there inside. Locked in. When was this recording made? I just away. Ready for the turn. The people are flying into the water. Thinking we're not gonna find him alive, maybe? I don't know. This is the first time we've seen a recording of him that where he's not just goofing off. Oh, that might have been his office? Huh. Hmm. Oh no, this was the first secret at room we discovered. Yeah. Okay. Alright, I missed that terminal when I was up here before. Okay. Quickly to the shelter. We'll just hang out here until it goes away. Actually, no, that's a terrible idea. We're not going to do that. Would be funny if they went away after we just popped in here, though. Yeah, no, fuck you. Pick him up. If I were a fungal host, where would I hang out? Well, I'm right by the door for parapsychology. I may as well come on in here. I thought, let's just start from the beginning and walk around. Two ability points. I want to. Oh wait, that's locked. I can't save up for that. Boo. Um. Oh, I can get the last health upgrade. Don't mind if I do. 
We're gonna need that if we want to tackle the... The, uh, whatchamacallit... Jukebox again. I see evidence of fungus. We never enter the hypnosis lab before? Uh, fellas? I see it. Another object of power? They're just standing there. Mesmerized by it. Oh, this was something else I had marked as a quest. Mission. Find a way into the room to bind the X-ray light box. I guess I never came in here. No, more shape puzzles. Uh, this one? Diamond above, border around. Easy. Me fucking around just made that a very simple process. Yeah, what can I say? I'm a genius. These guys aren't looking healthy. Please state your name for the record. Paul Warren, Astral Mark, First Class. And you are aware that exposure to the astral plane can result in death, disability, personal injury, corporeal entanglement, cognitive collapse, loss of ego, and partial to full dementia? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am. And you acknowledge that your use of the astral conduit, aka the X ray light box, is purely voluntary? Yes, I do. Perfect. Your suit is good? No. Okay, you're all set. Open the door for Mr. Warren, please. Uh huh. What's this thing gonna give me the power to do? I can like control his controlled enemies, counter control them. What if I could free them from control? St. Anne's Hospital. Patient M. Cage, 1974. Hmm. Well, let's do it. Hey, board. Looking big and ominous, ominous up there, as always. You seize to complete the Astral Plane Challenge. Gold enemies are immune to attacks. Find another way to defeat it. Turned into my side. 
Low health. Oh, I gotta bring this to the jukebox. Nice. I'm... I like it. I'll imagine using that on like a Brains powerful when I took over the object. Aw. Aw. Well that sucks. They did. Plus side, I got a new power. And it's a good one. Yeah, lower the health on like a really tough enemy and then seize them and like the jukebox could really help me out. Okay, I can still move when I do this. Aha! Nice kick. Oh, and they steadily lose health while you control them, too. Your service is no longer required. God, that was brutal. I like it. I like it a lot. We got a file. X-ray light box, object to power 18. The object is a light box used to examine X-ray images. The image cannot be removed from the light box. The information on the image belongs to a patient named Why is the name redacted? We saw the name on the thing. Well, I guess you'd redact it in the document. Okay, fair enough. We saw the name. I already forgot what it was, but it was on there. The object allows para-utilitarians to forcibly seize in in an individual's cock and balls. The seized individuals become... Mentally and spiritually cockbound to the user. The effect lasts for a whole ten fucking minutes. Once released, the seized asshole Oh wait, no. The seized explode as a result of the fit of psychic trauma. Okay, there we go. The object has no... Well, it has one now. A janitor named... Splazowski Badowsko bound the object at St. Anne's Hospital in 1997. Soon the building's occupants were completely and utterly fucking exploded by him. The Bureau dispatched an emergency response team to negotiate a peaceful surrender of the perpetrator and abscond with the item. Fatalities numbered in the tens of millions. For operational details, see the case 26HQ452. Oh, we didn't read this one on the maze. Or hear this one. Or we already heard it, and this is copy. Objects of power. Oh, wait, no, it's a different one. I don't want to lean on things I ultimately can't trust. But the ashtray and the cigarette, smoking there forever, have their uses. The ashtray maze they conjure is an impossibly changing labyrinth that no one but the binder, and those the binder invites, can ever pass through. The things we hid in dimensional research, the things Darling studies, the danger and the risk involved, call for every measure of security and protection I could bring to the table. The maze, hands down, is our strongest lock. I gave Darling and his chosen crew license to pass through the maze. Lately, I've started to think I should revoke that license. So 
cigarette and an ashtray are the item, huh? Maybe I should have looked around for that. Ammo cost while levitating. Hmm, that's a new one. Ammo refund chance on hit. That might be good for spin. Might be. I think what I'd rather... You know, if I unlock a third slot for it, that's definitely a good one to keep for it. now. Oh, well, there's, uh... Is that astral aberration fuckboy still in there? Blah, blah. Well, just had a weird jitter there. Do I want to go look? I can't even hit the button. Okay, the game is like, no, you've already handled this. No, you're not allowed. UFO? 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 Or is this some astral plane nonsense? I don't know. Probably astral plane. Hold on, there was another door down there that led to like an area that had mold in it. Let's let's double back a second. Saw something move over there. Sensory tank purpose. Darling here. Some of you are curious why I had the sensory deprivation tanks installed. I thought I'd shed some light on the subject. Maybe some of you have heard of a Dr. Yoshimi Tokui. Yoshimi Tokui. Tokui? Yoshimi, the man behind the hugely popular guided imagery experience tapes. I am not familiar. Apparently, his tapes go beyond the normal meditative qualities of such things, but create genuine hallucinatory visions in some listeners. Or so the reports say. Wow. Ugh. Ugh. Oh no, not the yawning again. Fuck. Apparently, uh, we brought these tanks in to test Dr. Tokui's tapes for ourselves. Plus, there may be some stress-relieving uses for the staff down the road. I think we could all benefit from some time in a dark enclosed space, don't you? I wouldn't. If you have any more questions, feel free to stop by my office. You know where it is. And 
These things haven't even been wandering around that long, and they've already spread so much mold. Dr. Tokui Investigation Dr. Yoshimi Tokui, a Japanese citizen residing in Tokyo, of course Tokyo, has produced a series of guided imagery experience audio recordings that have gained notable popularity around the globe. Due to his unusually swift rise in fame, along with reports of vivid sex accompanying the use of his tapes, investigation sector staff were ta asked to look into Dr. Tokui's background. We found no past incident with an altered occurrence, nor any evidence of involvement with an altered organization. However, agents said to the deciding event reported immense feelings of sexual satisfaction when hearing Dr. Tokui speak. We recommend that the research team obtain an audio recording of Dr. Tokui's voice and perform any and all relevant analysis. Analyses. Based on the findings, the investigation sector will determine next steps regarding Dr. Tokui, as well as his eligibility for the Prime Candidate Program. Ah, oh, there's the deprivation tanks. Five of the six are green. Is this one occupied? Or is it broken? can't say I personally would be very comfortable being lock locked in a narrow tube. I would probably get very claustrophobic. There's not really a lot else in here. I'm glad I got this mission to go around finding mold hosts. Oh. can't claim him because this fucker is healing him. I want to see if I can capture the big guy. Doesn't look like I can, it's not giving me the option. That's lame. buddy. Got 
gotcha. Okay, so I can capture flying people at least. Yeah, not looking in good shape there. Where was I going? Oh, hold on, I don't even have the right thing selected. Oh, and I still have to go find Langston stuff. And there's one left in parapsychology. Somewhere around here. points. Launch damage or... Oh, wait, I got something for C's. C's duration. Duration. C's an additional enemy. I can already seize at least two. C's, 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 C's large enemies. Okay, that's what I want. That's what I'm talking about. Gotta make our way up. Or any new weapon mods yet? Nope. Black and remote thought, remote thought, remote thought, and loads of other stuff. Parapsychology dealt with. Now we're back to looking for the last one round here. Maybe he's hiding in a shelter? Nah, probably not. Okay, now I think I already found the one that was in here. This was the first one I found. So the first one was at the very top. Well, the first one was down here and was at the bottom. Then the second one I found was at the very top. So where be the third? Unless there's an extension of central research that I haven't poked my head into.
Hmm. A luck and probability is part of this area. Maybe I should check there. And which way to luck and probability? On this level, I think. No, not this level. The map mildly confuses me. Oh, man. Hello up there. Hi. Got a pair of flying boys. All right, I just need to follow the signs. Which way to? Which the way to? Ways the way to luck and probability? I could talk. Dimensional research, parapsychology. This map, the overhead map is a piece of shit. When trying to tell me where to go in a vertical space. More signage. Oh, come on. Let's kill a bit with the near constant battle. I'm beginning to think luck and probability is not in the same... It looks like it's connected, but I don't think it really is. Oh, here it is. It just wasn't attached to the stairwell. Betting the last mold fellas in around here somewhere. No, I never came in here. Maybe I didn't have clearance at the time. Somebody cleanly sliced through this document. Lucky item manifest. Bronze koi fish from China. Attracts abundance and wealth. Feng Shui. Horseshoe, Ireland. Wards off evil. Orientation important. Heals up allows luck to be kept. Heals down, luck flows outward. Hmm, didn't know that one. 
Maneki Neko, Japan. Beckoning cat used in shops. Paw held up to beckon customers, creating luck for the business owner. Four leaf, clay, four leaf clover, everyone knows these. Shamrock, rare plant variation. Connections to druidic healing rituals. Elephant, China. Protection, good luck, wisdom, feng shui. Light bulb, various. Documented gambling rituals indicate luck is produced when all lights in the room are turned on. Note effects of items to be tested, considering investiga investigating orientation of horseshoe. Also consider positioning of feng shui objects. Proximity of luck items may influence luck readings. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of the word feng shui a lot the past few days, ever since Seth put out his most recent video. What a game that is. I want to play it, but at the same time, I don't think I should. For more information on ritual use, lucky actions to perform and avoid relevance to OCD behavior, see other file. I think we turned all the lights on. Uh, I see what's going on here. Okay, something about our position away from the table. Right, you could interact with the other objects. Okay, hold on. Let me... Where's that document? What direction should the horseshoe be? Heels up. I'm not sure what you would consider the heel of a horseshoe. Like, that's the forward orientation. Does that... I guess we'll find out. Oh, wait, no. There's a helpful thing here. We want luck in. There we go. Four-leaf clover. Oh, I could just put it back. I'll take it. I'm taking this fish. Where do I put the fish? Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Oh, there's a spot for the clover. Okay. Okay, fish... Two feet? Like, two feet away from the table? I'm not really good at measuring distance by eye. That's more than two feet. I don't really know how to just set things down. Oh, if I press F, it just sort of sets it down. Okay. It's, prob it's probably not good for the feng shui of the room. Get The cat beckons. Alright, the Newton's Cradle is tapping the elephant. 
I think we're as lucky as we can get. Anyway, I can't exactly interact with the table from outside of the boundary. I, I could only look at it. Ah. I don't think that's good. I think I lost. Oh, I got a six. I needed a seven. Ah, oh, it's so bright. Oh! Oh, we unlocked an outfit! Okay, I just needed to move the fish and step back from the table. I get it, yeah, you move close to interact with it, and then you move out of its range, okay. Golden suit, huh? Doesn't really sound like the sort of outfit I would choose to wear in a game like this, but alright. Where's the nearest control point? Gotta check me some new clothes. Although, we're here to look for mold. Remember that. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Just have to pop out and look at something real quick. Oh, I think we found our last mold friend. Yeah, there you are. Oh no, we're in the Ritual Division. Okay, looking... Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense that it's not in Central Research. Where the fuck is the last one in Central Research? I mean, I'm already here. I may as well keep looking in this area for... whatever, but... Yeah, get him, boy. Ah, jeez, no respect. No respect at all. Synchronicity Lab. Nope. Oh, I've not been in here. You can tell because of the massive text. So many areas I missed. What's that one wearing? And how come those... some of them don't have arms? I'm not going to say no to exploring a new section. Who did th I've, I've, I've missed way too many rooms in this sector. I'm 
Well, this one's broken. Our mind friend is shining up the floor. Mirror testing. Why'd they keep an altered item here? Find a way into the containment cell. Alright, first up, where do I access uh, clothes? I want to see our new outfit. this close. I just swore you access them here. Where the heck is clothes changing? Can I only change that from the main... Hang on. Can I only ch could I only change from central executive? We can just teleport right back. Huh. Why can I only change here? Huh. Okay, that doesn't look too terrible. Kinda like her basic outfit, though. Ah, it's a, it'll be a nice change of pace. Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. We'll rock it for a little bit and see how we feel. Back to mirror testing. We got our first new outfit. That's fun. Also, what were my countermeasure things we had? Kill enemies in the containment sector using abilities. Using the grip kill with headshots. I suppose I should change to grip. Now let's... Now let's grab the grip, and how about... Hey, keep the shatter. Keep the shatter up. Debrief for Mirror Excursion 7C. Subject is Agent Hardy. Hardy spent approximately three hours in the mirror. It's the longest time on record. Can you describe your experience inside, Agent Hardy? Uh oh. Agent Hardy is physically healthy. All tests have come back clean. Yet the speech issue has persisted for hours. 
Calm down, agent. It could be psychosomatic, but the fact that this only occurred after returning from the mirror makes a paranatural explanation more likely. I recommend a battery of tests and a class orange quarantine. Class orange? Ooh. Serious. Imagine if we had a class plaid. Ugh. Altered item examination proposal for the mirror. This proposal is to finally determine the precise nature of the reflected space within the altered item. Is it transplanar, psycho psychologically generated, or rooted within our own dimension? How does the altered item know the space in its vicinity well enough to reflect it? Why does it reflect some materials but not others? Is the space a parallel, parallel reality? If so, then we need to consider that while we possess this physical end of the mirror, someone else owns the other. What purpose might they use, use it for? Can they walk through it, in, into it, into our world? What are their motives? Lastly, to what purpose does the altered item produce the reflections of individuals that enter it? Can these reflected entities leave the altered item? As with all altered items, we need to attempt to distinguish if this behavior is... I don't even fucking know. I hate writing this document. Let's go get drunk. That's why that was blacked out. Mirror Containment. AI-60, the mirror, does not reflect its surroundings with perfect accuracy. The environment seen in its glass contains slight distinctions. I don't know what it is, but the moment I start reading, I just want to start yawning. This doesn't happen with any other game I've, I've read in. I don't know what this is. I don't know why. It is unknown why the mirror does this. If there is any fucking clue, then it's something we can't perceive. The popular theory is that the mirror has a goal in mind, and that it reflects the world it wishes were real, subtly replacing our rea reality with its own. While certainly far-fetched, the theory is worth noting here as a warning not to underestimate the mirror. The specially designed black rock panels have been installed to prevent access from our side or the mirrors. For added security, a particular arrangement of panels is required to open the door. Also, holy shit, documents cause me to yawn. I don't know why. I actually like reading this stuff. Ah. We need to... Wait a minute. It's reflecting text on the other side. What does that say? A T T E N. Attention. If you. You are inside. Attention, if you can read this, you are on, you are inside the mirror? Oh, I see. Maybe they wrote that on their way inside to let people know.
Alright, so we need a particular arrangement of panels in order to get inside. I don't think I've... What do these shutters do? It looks like there's a mirror in there. I mean, we knew that. How am I supposed to determine the pattern, though? The shutters in the image look different. Oh. I can barely see them, though. I see. What am I missing? Okay, I see it. I see it. Took me it took me a couple minutes, but I got it. Okay, so if we're looking out from the mirror, then the ones on the right... These two need to be open. And that's the opposite on the other side. something up. Oh, there it goes. This is gonna get weird, isn't it? We can see our reflection, but we're not on the other side. Oh, there we are. We are inside the mirror. Yeah, Wait, that didn't sound right. Yeah, that's not good. At least her thoughts aren't backwards. All right, it's kind of blue in here, but other than that, things look mostly the same. Oh, it's another one of these. Oh, that's to open the container. Worth a shot. Yep, all the documents are texts are texts are backwards. Oh, maybe the answer was on the other side. Hang on a minute. There was an open container on the on our side of the mirror. Wait, I can't go back? Aww. Oh, I know what's gonna happen here. What? 
I can't understand you. You need to listen. Yeah. I saw something in there. There is something inside. You need to lock down the mirror. Why are you talking like that? What's wrong with you? All of you? There's something in that fucking mirror. I don't think I'm gonna find a code for that box just yet. The mirror has an understanding of the area beyond the room it's in. That's something. Did you see that? Someone's in there. Hurry, Nano Masir. Whoa. It looked like it was her. It looked like it was herself. That can't be good. There she's again. That's not good. Looked like they were, she was wearing a different outfit. Not like the original one. Yeah. Wait, that's like part of the outfit we saw on the mannequin on the other side. This Jesse has rockets. Or is that charge? She's using charge. Damn, those things travel fast. Nothing but a pale imitation. I don't know, she kinda hurts.
tried to catch it, wouldn't let me. Fuck you. What? It followed me. Fuck you. Oh, she's got a barrier. I'm dying, Squirtle. I don't know why I said that. I think I just stole somebody else's catchphrase. Where is she? Oh, there she is. She fell over. Oh, she's floating. I repeat, she's floating. Kind of a slow end to the fight. But whatevs. Oh, that better be all of them. That explains why they locked this mirror up. Ah, yes. The clacker room, very important. We just cleanse the mirror. I want the outfit backwards Jesse was wearing. That was a good one. No, oh, no, not this again. Hope we see Mr. Bones again. Since little Topher is taking yes! a trip with his father into the world outside our He's narrating. Euro, I think it's a good time to talk there he about is. secrets. Who can tell me what a secret is? Uh, uh, it's something you hide from everyone, so they don't get scared. Partially correct, Topher. A secret is something you don't tell anyone outside the Bureau. Because people outside the Bureau... Aren't ready for the truth of reality. Very good. When you tell someone a secret, you're hurting their brains very badly. Please don't hurt me, brain. Now, let's review what exactly is or isn't a secret. First, we have a rainbow. Secret or not secret? Not secret! Correct. And the true version of rainbows? Secret! Correct. Cats? Not secret! Correct. And the alpine chimera? Not secret! Ah, uh, uh, Topher. Too many slip-ups and your father will have to go on vacation without you. 
You don't want to end up like Meg, do you? Not Meg. What? Not Meg. What happened to Meg? Uh-oh. I think we see what happened to Meg. Not allowed to go outside anymore. Oh wait, that's Meg. I wasn't paying attention to their names. Correct. I want to believe that Mr. Bones is an actual employee and that the that the character that exists inside these videos is exactly the same as he is in real life. He's just a skeleton wearing like a face partially over his head or skull. This is what I choose to believe and you can't stop me. Well, I haven't seen anything that would be a clue as to how to get that container open, and I'm guessing if we cleanse the mirror, we won't be able to come back inside. So glad I figured out the, the first time we did this just on accident. <sighs> Maybe it's on the seismograph thing here? I want to say it's in the environment, but we see a bunch of those symbols everywhere. Then again, that's the only one on a piece of paper like that. Or at least on this thing here. Can I manage this? It's like a different shape than I can actually create in the thing. Bat at the bottom, line outlines at the top, and the things in the right. How do I open this thing? I'd save before exiting, but I, d I can't. I wonder what the Bureau was doing with this thing. Maybe I will be able to go back. Nope, she's gonna automatically cleanse it. Well, it's cleansed now. Oh, wait. I can go on the other side. I, I saw the F. I could still press it. Okay, there it is. Fat bottom, fat right, outline top, thingy in the bottom left. I knew it had to be on the other side. I was just worried I wouldn't be able to go back in. Then again, that would be very cruel if they made it like that. You only figured it out when you got inside, but then, yeah.
Wait, isn't that it? Oh wait, no, it needs to be reversed. No. Wait, does it need to be completely inverted? I will figure this out. Oh wait, no, it needed to be on the left. Outline top, fat right, fat bottom, corner left. I'm trying to associate the shape with just very simple words, because I can't hold the image in my mind. My memory sucks. Short term and long term. Alright, let's try to do the original shape again. Okay, this was the original shape. And it's not working. So let's try to reverse it. Tiny portion of this am I doing incorrectly? Wait a minute. I didn't try just simply reversing the image. I'm trying to invert it again. Hang on. There we go. I was kind of hoping there'd be something a bit more special than just a couple of tier 4 mods, but I, I finally did it. I kind of had the right idea in the beginning, but I mis I misremembered one single component, and then I tried getting more advanced with it, and yeah, it, that just kind of got kind of goofy. a lot of abilities. Seize an additional enemy. I want to focus... Oh, it's locked. I didn't realize that. Aw. I guess I'll just get the additional enemy seize. I guess.
All right, well, that was a neat detour. I was kind of hoping we'd get yeah, that alternate Jesse was wearing a neat outfit. I liked it better than I liked this suit. I kind of, I wanted it. Oh, wait a minute. This window's open. We can get to it now. Asynchronous suit. All right, we'll get that next time we're back at Central. Why is this window open? Who broke this? Dun, dun, dun. Uh, did I check up top? Did I check up top, up yonder? Doesn't look like I did. Wait a minute. When we came in here before, the clackers were different on... Ah, I see. I wonder if that would matter for anything on the other side. Hmm. Okay, is this... Is this just the one that we picked up before? Or is it a new one? Since little Topher is taking a trip with his father... Okay, now we... We picked up the tape in the reverse side. I think it's a good... Synchronicity Experiment As a test, television sets were placed in a variety of locations around the world inside rooms identically decorated. The hypothesis was that by identically altering the decor of every room, and then changing the channel in every room but one, that the signal differing television would spontaneously align the incoming frequency to match its synchronized counterparts. I don't know, I guess it kinda did. The experiment seemed like a failure until it was observed that the agents responsible for arranging and monitoring these rooms were all experiencing the same emotional turmoil as one clinically depressed member of the team, himself being located in the eastern part of Siberia. Psychological examination of the agents pro proved the correlation. Interestingly, the phenomenon of the synchronicity did occur, but not in the way we predicted. Hmm. Ugh, sneezing now. Ugh, what is with the yawning and sneezing once I bring up a document? I don't get it. <sighs> Stretch. <sighs> don't get it. I don't understand how my body works. Alright, Victorian mirror. A hanging mirror, oval shapes. The item should be kept sealed in a sealed chamber with minimal external dis uh, visibility, almost a disability. The frame is made of ornately wrought brass. The item does not reflect its surroundings accurately. The item's effect is complex. Most notable is the fact that the glass transports individuals to a paranatural space when touched. In this space is an imperfect reflection of our reality. Some objects inside the reflection are simple mirror images. Some are completely fucked up, while some do not appear at all. The reflection only contains areas within a 80,000 light year distance from the item itself. Relocating the item has proven that the reflection changes to changes to depending on its surroundings. Agents have been sent to in to explore the reflection. Extreme psychological trauma has been observed in the test subjects sent inside, believed to be psychosomatic. Prolonged exposure to the reflection is not advisable. Who can tell me what a secret is? That's just a clacker room. Alright, well, we're done with this room. Ah, 
Yeah, there's a healer. Big boys ain't so tough. This is going to be very useful in the jukebox. Unless they have the health boost. That was the problem before. We need to weaken them before we can capture them. If they're health boosted, it'll take a while before we can do that, and we're on a timer in there. Okay, maybe this won't be as useful as I thought, but then again... If they have more health, they should last longer, right? When I control them. Or is it a set amount based on my level of control? No. Oh. Document in here. Threshold Kid's Proposal. Okay, so this was this was made by the by the bureau by order of Trench. Okay, not many documents have by order of him on it. With the recent arrival of 7200,000 children, there are certain glaring gaps in the bureau's ability to educate and raise a young child. There are no other Hold on. There are no other there are no other normal children for children to play with, and and they I'm not sure what to put in that one. I'm just going to leave that one blank. I'm not sure what to put there. They are expected to learn about frightening new concepts. The children will require a slow, completely not friendly introduction to paranatural topics. With this in mind, allow me to introduce the Threshold Kids. A television show in which a cast of cheerful puppets explain the dangers of living at the Bureau, but also show the fun side of the paranatural. Budget would be minimal. I took a few puppet making courses at my local community center. We can have research staff build the sets, record the footage, and even do the voices. It'll be good for morale, and I guarantee the children will respond positively to these videos. I don't know what else is supposed to be there. I don't know why it's redacted. We can't expect a child to enjoy lectures and people in lad coats. Are they just censoring the word child? But as television has proven for years, kids love puppets. I think they just censored the word kids or child. I don't understand why that's needed in a document about setting up a television, like, program so that they can learn stuff. I'm confused. Ugh. Excuse me. Nose you're getting a bit stiffy. I had to take care of that. I guess I should... I guess that was just a shelter I did, forgot to check. Anyway, we got some mold here.
Oh. Carla, file received. So, return to subject Blackrock sample analysis. Thank you for the file. It was very helpful. I have re-archived it with the Blackrock research in case you need to refer to them again. Yes, the video shoots are always interesting. I expect my availability for those to decrease in the future, however, as my analysis of this newly discovered Blackrock variant is reaching a critical point. I hope you will be able to un attend them still. Darling seems to be under a lot of pressure lately, and I'm sure he would appreciate any support you can provide. Regard regarding the analysis you provided, I do have I do not have any questions. Thank you for the expedition's delivery. Regards, research specialist Dr. Carla Vaughn. Yep, yep, yep. Clearly I had not been down here. Damn ambush. Rituals. Obsessive compulsive disorder, hoarding, anxiety disorders. While certain manifestations of these conditions are simply the result of mental illness, sometimes the individuals are simply performing extremely elaborate fuckabouts called rituals. There we go. I like that. Extremely elaborate fuckabout. That's a great alternative name for a ritual. The fuckabout of rituals can vary. Numerology, dream logic, forfeiture, verbal formula, repetitive action. The casual tethering are just some of the procedures involved. Some rituals are consistent, such as pulling the light switch cord three times to enter the motel. But some are erratic. While most people engage in minor rituals every day, the vast majority do not understand the importance behind their actions. Avoiding disaster, amassing luck, or simply locating lost keys are all the results of daily rituals. Individuals who recognize a deeper meaning behind these compulsive actions are inherently aware of the paranatural world and, when located, should be considered for employment at the Bureau. I regularly have to find my glasses because I'll set them down and then 10 seconds later I'll forget where I put them. Does that mean I'm committing rituals? I told you my memory sucks. Okay, somebody just has an office up here. <sighs> Who's responsible for taking care of the plants up here? I wonder if they employ a gardener. I think I've said it every stream, but I'm gonna say it every single time because it's true every single time. I love the architecture. I didn't mean to fall, but I couldn't see anything else up here. This just leads to HRA research. Duck! Hey, duck friend. an SCP that was a rubber duck. I can't remember. Did it just explode or did it just, like, pop around? I can't remember what SCP duck was like. Hey, guys. Is Dr. Darling's 
workmanship intentionally this bad. Maybe he's trying to test our code breaking skills. Look at the ass on this one. Holy shit. You might want to cover that up. You're going to distract all your co-workers. We have no time for distractions. Dead ass. And there's nothing tucked away back here. Now, wait a minute. It's not displaying the right mission again. It keeps defaulting to the official mission. Okay, there's still one in Ritual. Do you have a spare diamond? What? No. Why? I want to see Wait, I just left the Ritual division. Scale of hearts. Wait a minute. That's the elevator out. Hang on. We'll just go back this way. I just I just love zipping around and just suddenly hearing a loud crash. Get him, Rocket Boys! Oh, they're in a punch fight over there. Get him! They seem less smart when they have to fight each other. Okay, there was one in the ritual office, which I got. Where else in the ritual department do I need to look? Did we even find one in the synchronicity lab? There's a lot of mold in here, but I don't remember finding one. Wait, did you hear that? Oh, you know what? It's because we only entered here for the first time, it, the game kept it clear. I understand. I just gotta find the last one in Central Research. But I scoured Central Research and I'm still missing one. I don't know where to look. Well, I may have an idea. But I don't think it's the right... I don't think it's right. What do you make of these hiss? This drug lady has instinction. Alright, I picked up a mission about using spin mode again, so I may as well switch back to spin mode. Let's bring back charge for a bit.
Maybe it's parakinesiology? Did I look in parakinesiology? I that I think that's that must be part of central research, perhaps? Or is that part of parapsychology? I think it's part of parapsychology. I don't know why I came down here. I think this is part of Central, but the whole part of the mission was that they escaped from the Mold Zone and entered the Upper Zone. Wait a minute. Maybe I should check dimensional research again. office got fixed up after I crashed it last time. I was kind of hoping they'd go away if I started fucking around in there, but I was mistaken. have an idea. What if this is part of Central, and it wandered into the Ash Zone, but I didn't see it because it was my first time here? Trying to pick up the ashtray. I just realized the ashtray mage is a whole, like, other section. It's all scratched out, though. 
Okay, you know what? That other mold carrier isn't here. He's... He's fucked off completely. They're still in Central somewhere. I'm kind of tired of fighting around here, so I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna let them fuck off for a second. It's not in here. There's already one in here, and I already got it. It's not down here. Us. Oh my god. I missed the whole area back here. I think that's the last one. I should let Underhill know. He was in the toilet the whole time. I knew it. I was just looking in all the wrong toilets. What is that sound? What the hell was that? It sounds like there's something spooky in this toilet. Or was that just part of the music I heard? That, like, stuttering sound? I've been back here before. Oh, what's happening to the door? Alright, let's turn this into Underhill and get out of here. I'm not fucking with you, I'm done with you. I've had enough. Underhill gave you the new bill, right? Bill? What bill? Don't you dare joke right now. I found the host. They won't be spreading any more mold. Well done. I'll send burn teams to sanitize the locations. I'm beginning to wonder if these hosts are originating outside the threshold in independent patches of mold growth. You don't sound very optimistic. Optimism is for farmers, as my mother always said. I suppose you could now return to that hiss business you all seem so concerned about. This woman has some incredible tunnel vision. Thanks for the information. All right, we out. My pleasure. Now let's get back to a control point so we can get out of here. I want to stop by Central and pick up our new outfit.
I'm not really digging the gold suit. I generally like the style of it, but the color... I don't know. Gold, shiny gold just doesn't work. It just isn't working for me. Deal with them. Although, while I will say, while I don't like this particular suit, women in suits is definitely a stylish choice. Dresses? Dresses are fine. Suits? That's the way to go. Yeah, finally back home. Asynchronous suit. Ooh. See, that this I like. I like it. What's he got a mark Maybe over his head for? No. I don't think I ever told you this, but I was actually on the path to being a ranger once. Did the whole boot camp thing. Even got rookie status. Anyway, not the point. My own ranger squad was a great bunch. There was six plus me. Remus, Hazard, Cho, Guy, Hepton, Stall, and Thompson. They were supposed to get back from an expedition yesterday. We had beers and wings planned. Problem is... They weren't here when Darling handed out the HRAs. Then they had nothing protecting them from the Hiss. You see, they prepped for the worst, but I think that we're already past that. We all wore these pouches around our neck, and I really don't want the Hiss to get them. Could you find him for me? Uh, the squad would have come back through maintenance, but they probably spread out from there. I'll keep an eye out for them, Arish. And I won't let them stay Hiss. I have to go. Yet so, another side you're quest. You're not the only busy, you know. At this rate, it might be another stream or two before we get on with the main story. Well, what do I want to do next? Yeah. Defeat his corrupted... Yeah, they all... Well, that's kind of an interface spoiler. There could have been at least some possibility that one of them would have survived. Do I want to try the anchor again today? <sighs> no, no, if I, if I want to try the anchor, hang on. Let me look up what the solutions were again. There might have been some easier things I could try other than the one that I thought of first saw. Uh, control, anchor, crash. Repeating crash to desktop. The solution suggested was to mute all audio. Didn't help. Brute force. 
solution. Okay, what's this? While the game is running, I'll tap out of the game and bring up the task manager. Find controls, process in the list, right click on it, go to details. Set, select high, priority, set priority to high. Hmm. These people are talking about doing stuff with AMD tech, tech. I have NVIDIA, so that's not going to help me. Somebody says it's solved by going and doing disable full screen optimization. I did that. That didn't help. Disabling CFG and exploit protection? All right, that just brings up a YouTube video. I hate it when people feel like they need to make a video to explain something, and I can't just get a fucking list of a step instructions. Somebody suggested turning on one shot in the cheat menu. There's a cheat menu? I don't remember seeing a cheat menu. Radeon overlay. A lot of these people talking about AMD. I don't have that. I should do this research before I do a stream rather than the middle so you're not stuck with a static image of just Jesse standing around looking bored. Okay, what's this fix? There are two DLL files in the game directory. Platform rdwin10 f.dll a bad opcode here is causing the crash and platform rd win 7 fdll back up the rd win 10 rename platform rd win 7 to rd win 10 to overwrite the file That sounds like something we could try. And then somebody says right after that that it didn't work. And somebody else said that it could work.
Okay, somebody else has got something here with the NVIDIA control panel. Okay, this sounds like something I can work. Configure surround physics, physics settings set to CPU after beating VOTS. Go back to NVIDIA GPU or auto select. Okay, apparently going and dealing with the physics thing in NVIDIA worked for somebody with somewhat similar specs to me. Let's try that. I probably shouldn't try to alter anything while I'm in the game, though. We're gonna try it. It would suck if we had to pass up a, an ability. Um, let me... Okay, we're already tracking it. For some reason... For some reason, the control point in there isn't, like, saving. Like, I can't just teleport to it. I have to go back to an earlier one and then run in. Busy. The one with the altered item inside. Looks like I need to hit that shield heart rate. More Busy clocks. fuckos. Okay, we have saved here within the anchor room. We're gonna try this one fix. It worked for somebody with similar specs to mine, so we'll see if it works with somebody... We'll see if it works for me. Okay, so... NVIDIA control panel, yes sir. Configure surround physics. It is currently on auto processor select. Set to CPU. Okay. Let's see if this works for me. I sure hope it does, because I don't like the look of all the other solutions. They look like a huge pain in the ass. And just, in general, not fun.
All right, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. The fuck is that? I don't like how it looks. It didn't crash. Open up. Open up, bitch. not like the look of this room, just in general. Uh oh Open up again, fuckboy. Oh, he's facing the wrong way. I need a big clock. I seem to be out of big clocks. Small clock isn't cutting it. Do I need to use a body? Hey, that works. Okay. Open wide. Ah. 
Ah. Wait. I think I threw a block at it and it worked? I am in pain. Oh no. Oh no. I think I only need to hit it one more time. All right, well, it's not a surefire fix, but still better than every other attempt that I did. We can work with this, though. We can work with this. Uh, we'll have to sit through the unskippable shit that nobody cares about when you start up the game every single time, but... So a degree of speed is required. Now that I actually know what I need to hit it with once I run out of clocks... Alright, I know you open up over here first. Let's do it. Come on. What? It's making more that didn't... Oh, come on. Is it invincible, the first opening? Eat shit. You're wasting my time. I don't have the energy. I got it, I got it. Oh, god damn it. Now it's gonna crash to... I, I thought I had it. I was so close, and now that I have a solu- I thought I had a solution, the game's just thinking, no. Now he has a solution to our fuck-up. Ah, Man. You know what? Maybe let's try it in DirectX 11. Maybe if things are a little less intense and we have the physics, whatever, processing thing set different. Maybe that'll take a little bit of the edge off. I'll tell you what, if it crashes again, I'm going to look up for a way to skip this stuff at the beginning. Because if I'm going to keep doing this, I don't want to have to spend a whole two fucking goddamn minutes waiting for the game to start. Alright, one lesson learned, though. Don't try to throw a clock into it right at the beginning, because the game will be like, no, fuck you. You're not supposed to know what to do yet. The fuck is that? It's making more clocks? Alright, come on. Come on.
Ow. I feel like the game is moving slower. Eat corpse, jerk. The game feels slow. Okay, small clocks work. I don't actually need bodies. Or just any object, really. combination of fucking with the physics setting in NVIDIA and turning down to DirectX 11 instead of 12 was the fix. That's way simpler than all the other shit people were trying and were saying wasn't working. There. No wonder the Rangers had such a hard time with that one. So, what does it do? Normally, when you pick up an object, it... ...gives you an ability. First things first, save. And then I'm gonna go back out because I, I think I did notice a visual difference in the game's quality. All right, we'll set that uh, processor physics settings back to automatic. And you know what? Control... Game start up. Skip. There is a lovely, there's a roughly 12 gigabyte file you can edit in a hex editor to disable the intro videos. Seriously, with that do hex editing? Oh, wait a minute, here's an easier one. To skip the intro on PC, press Alt F4. It'll ask if you want to click. To quit, select No. It'll take you directly to the menu. Oh, that's easier. Thank you. Okay. Evil Monkey Slayer to the rescue. Not somebody in my chat, mind you. I just looked that one up. Alt F4, huh? DirectX 12. It's not working. Alt F4 didn't work. 
Evil Monkey Slayer, you hack. It just closed the game. How dare you. Was I rused? I think I was rused. I click the game title under the library. Okay, hold on. Okay, this looks like a simple one. Uh, ah! Hate it when I didn't want to drag the screen and rearrange everything on my. Ah! In the general tab, set launch. Oh, wait, that's for Steam. I want to learn this because I'm sick and tired of the game startup being so damn slow. Somebody's saying you can press escape, but I've tried that. What I'm getting here is that they made it annoying. All right. Well, whatever happens, I'll just start the game and we can we can continue playing for a bit rather than showing you this blank black screen. And we can keep going for another hour. Somebody was saying to hold down escape. Another person said to just press F4. I don't know where these people are getting these button presses from, but they don't work. Yeah, developers, listen, I know you want to promote your company and that you made the game and all, but could you do so in a less blatantly annoying fashion? Back in the day, they let us skip that stuff. We would see it and be like, okay, cool, press a button, then we'd move things along. You're just like, we must keep it... Held in front, hold their face down in it for as long as possible, mm, yes. It makes me appreciate you less. Whereas if you didn't, I would have appreciated you more. This is basic don't inconvenience people. This is a very simple concept. The more you inconvenience someone, the more they will resent you. <sighs> All right. Ranting done, back in the game. Anchor taken care of. Anchor procedures. Black rock paneling successfully prevents manifestation of the sphere. A Trotman style anchor made of iron with a wooden stock. Surface is rust rusted in places, weighs 3,789 pounds. Can we transfer that into tonnage? That's gotta be a couple of tons. Three, seven, eight, nine. Oh, that's only like... I thought it would be more... Okay. Shows what I know about measurements. It's just shy of two tons. 1.89 tons, to be specific. 
The item generates a persistent black blank sphere. I wouldn't exactly call that a blank sphere. It looked way more complicated than that. The purpose of which is currently unknown. The sphere is always generated at a precise point in relation to the item. Specifically... 782 horizontal feet and 8,762 vertical feet from the epicenter of the anchor, whatever that means. Um, April 25th, 1983. Uh, Spurious Auduticus, Ranger First Class, was dropped into the sphere wearing a diving suit with dedicated oxygen line at um, 10.34 on... Uh, I guess 10.34 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Why is that area so large? It's a time. After 10 minutes and 13 seconds inside the sphere, uh, Splendutifus, I have already forgotten the name I gave the guy, his oxygen line was cut at, at the sphere's border by an unseen force. All agents in the room during Sputicus's entry into the sphere experienced vomiting vertigo and a loss of fingernails within an hour of one another. Ew. I almost lost a fingernail after falling off my bike once. Let me tell you, I kind of wished it was completely removed. Actually, no. Getting it completely removed is way worse. What am I talking about? Ranger Spaduticus has been declared MIA, presumed dead. Okay, then. I guess I just... Contain the anchor? What did I do to the anchor? It just disappeared. I was hoping I'd get an ability out of it for all the trouble it cost me. Uh, you know what? Let's do this as our last thing for today. Whether it takes an hour or not is irrelevant. Let's go track down Langston's runaways. Cleanse and contain a Japanese paper lantern, a traffic light, a hand chair, hand chair, and moving letters. How do you... I wonder how you unlock these abilities. I don't know when I'm going to be able to unlock that, so I may as well spread some points around, get a bit more levitate, do a bit more launch damage. I mean, 50% more. And then there's another 50%, then a 75%, and then another 75%. Man, you can get launch damage and do a fuck ton. Uh, we got a jukebox token. Rare mod, not really that great. Kill mold hosts. I'm not going back to kill mold hosts anytime soon. Kill enemies and expeditions without taking damage from the target. I hate these. Hiss warped in the maintenance sector. Hiss, hiss elevated. That sounds simple. I take the simple missions that I can do anywhere. It's not like the rewards really matter. All of the rewards are just some random mod. If it's like something really specific like this, kill his rangers in the executive sector using shatter. That's a pain in the dick. This one, kill his distorted, kill his elevated, those can happen anywhere. I'll take missions that I can do anywhere. Well, wait a minute, here's one, containment sector. I'm going to the containment sector right now, that's different. I'll take that. Kill his rangers in containment se sector. Simple. Easy. Uh, containment. Oh, one's in the sealed threshold hall. Wait a minute, if it was in the sealed threshold hall, why did I teleport 
You know what? It doesn't matter. We're still in the area. So which one am I chasing right now? The lantern. This here lantern I've been told about. Looks like I need to hit that shield harder. Is that it? I was just kind of buried there. I was hoping it was going to do something. Uh, ramen lantern. The item should be kept in a locked containment cell. Any prolonged observation of the item should be avoided. The item is a paper lantern known as a chochin. I'm not sure what the accent over there is meant for that pronunciation, but I'm just going to say chochin. The paper is red with elegant black Japanese characters that translate to ramen. Item has an attractive effect that is both physical and psychological. Nearby objects gravitate towards the item with a minor force of 10 Gs. More notable is its ability to attract sentient organisms with its rich red color and warm, comforting glow. So it's a really good advertisement for ramen. Okay, that explains why it was covered in clocks. It appeared here and it drew the clocks into it. Makes sense, I guess. I was hoping that these things would be a bit more exciting, but all right. Um. Oh, wait a minute. One of these isn't in containment, it's in the executive. Let's run the rest of the way there, see if we can hit some rangers on the way. Why is it so red in there? Now entering medical once again. Which item am I looking for here? Hand chair. All right, I got the protection against the uh, the the really airy shroom zones. This would normally be very poisonous to me. Weapon armor damage. Yeah, 
hand chair. What what is a hand chair? Wait, like a wheelchair, like one that you operate with your hands? Because there are several of those. level 6 access, but it clearly wasn't when I was in the area. First time around, anyway. Personal mods are full. Kind of got too many mods. I got multiple of certain types of mods, and they're just because they're a certain grade doesn't mean they all are exactly the same, it seems. Damage against enemy armor, 111%. Projectile speed, that one is for charge, huh? 69%! Yeah! Sorry, excuse me. Um... You know, I wonder how this would compare with... Nah, I kind of need the accuracy boost for this. Maybe when I get it another slot. <sighs> Sneezing. I think we found our altered object. Freeze, you're under arrest! Alright, where's the ball? Suspect down, suspect down. It's resisting! You're under arrest, hand. Okay, I see. It is a hand it is a chair shaped like a hand. Item must be kept in isolation, removed from other unsecured objects under no circumstances is the item to be sat in. A plastic seat shaped like a human hand from the 1960s. The hand's palm forms a seat with the fingers acting as the chair's back. The item affects gravitational forces attracting and repelling objects near itself with a force of 1000 Gs. Its fingers have also been observed to change position, though too quickly to be witnessed or filmed. The item may be changing forms rather than moving. The item only displays these effects during full moons. I guess there's a full moon going on right now. 
Sample analysis confirms that it contains human genetic material. Okay, now see, that's the sort of detail I want to see in these reports. I want to see at least a little bit of insight as to why these things are fucked. Found in a warehouse in Capital Upon Fuckshire in Albany, a team of ranger trainees, accompanied by an experienced field agent, were dispatched to investigate local rumors when they were when they encountered the item. They successfully retrieved the item. See PAI six one two two for details. Door's blocked. Um, why is everything blocked? What was that? What was that? What are these things on the walls, and why do I need to shoot them? That was new. Kept me from leaving the room. Alright. Next up, traffic light. systems once normal operations have resumed, sir. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Hi there, ma'am. How's the fridge repair coming along? Did I already tell you about the fridge repair? I'll see you later, Lance. I think I did. I'll be here, like always. Might have been a ball down here causing me trouble. Yes, we just scour the floors until we find what we're looking for. It's just here in the Panopticon, right? Yes, it is. I mean, it shouldn't be too hard to spot it. We'll just see, see something acting oddly.
Uh oh. I didn't mean to. Ah shit. Oh. Whew. I fucked up. I have fucked up. I just I didn't want to take the elevator because the elevator's slow, but now I'm trapped. And now the elevator's in my way, I can't go up the shaft. Oh! Ah, oh, there we go. What? Why didn't I grab the edge? Fuck you. There was an edge. There was a perfectly good edge right there she could have grabbed, and instead she just decided, nah, I'm gonna fall to my death. Fuck you. Well, fuck you. Fuck you for not grabbing the edge. Well, why, why would you do that? Rude. I want to go to the archives. Not seeing anything out of the ordinary yet. Seen any traffic lights? Oh, there's a lantern. Got that back in place. Oh, shoot, I didn't want to abandon that. There we go. Give me some nice, simple missions that I don't have to go out of my way to do. There's a distinct lack of wayward stoplights. <sighs> oh, maybe it's in that old containment zone. Ah, yes, I do believe we found it. I think I know how this works. 
That must be one of the missing old items. Something bad will happen if I move when it's red, right? We've all played this game. Wait, come back here. I stopped. I obeyed the rules. You slut. Up, oh, I moved just before the light turned. Okay, yeah, if you move when it's red, it kicks you back. You're not turning red on me again. This escaped altered item to worry about. Gotcha. Red light. Object's effect is subdued by exposure to sunlight. Traffic light with three distinct lights arranging ver arranged vertically on each of its four sides. From top to bottom, the lights shine red, yellow, and green. The popular children's game, seen see CBA 316 for details, is believed to be integral to the manifestation of this item and its effect. If an entity approaches the item while its red light is activated, they will be instantaneously relocated a distance of 72,000 miles from the item. Theories that the item is shifting people to a former timeline or parallel universe have been explored and dismissed. The item was discovered after a street light at an intersection near the elementary school began shifting people away from itself after sunset. A local panic brought the case to the attention of the Bureau. The item was contained as a, and a gas leak was blamed for the confusion in the townspeople's perceptions. Neat. All that's left is the moving letters. Have I gone all the way to the top? Can I go all the way to the top? Ah, I'm up here, fuck you. Swan boat, protect me! stand on this? I can. Aha! Uh, what? Aw, oh, invisible- are you invisible walling me, game? I'm being invisible wall! I'm being invisible wall cucked from the rest of the area! Don't give me this level of freedom in a big open space like this and then start slapping down invisible walls. Come on! Come on, I thought we moved past this by now. Video games should move past the need for invisible walls, damn you. I think you can even see the bullets impact the invisible part. Or maybe not. Okay, items can go past it. It's just a racist people barrier. Are you a human being? Sorry, you're not allowed past this point. Only inanimate objects allowed past here. Uh, 
<sighs> well, fine then. Let's go deal with them letters. Or rather, the moving letters and the dead letter zone. I didn't fight any rangers, so I guess that one mission I had isn't going to get fulfilled. Oh well. That's no normal piece of paper. Sitting right there, huh? Kind of cool if this was a method that could cleanse them, and the moment your control dissipated, they were like clean and they didn't have to die. We done? I got a letter to read. have a read. Font's too small to read. more than one. Okay. Couldn't have been that simple, huh? What's this? A document? How did I pass this up? Dead presidents. To whom it may concern, I am being contacted by the past presidents of the United States of America. They appear as spirit guides, giving me their wisdom. John Adams keeps saying I need to fix America, but I can't really understand him. They all have a lot of opinions. People tell me I'm imagining it being... Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to... People tell me I'm imagining it, but Theodore Roosevelt showed me how to fix my lawnmower, and I don't know a thing about lawnmowers. Explain that. Theodore Roosevelt told him to fix his lawnmower? Roosevelt would be able to tell you how to do a lot more impressive things than fixing your lawnmower. I have great dead men telling me about the past and the present. If you'd like to use my abilities to help run the government, please let me know. I know the White House could use me. 
Uh, yeah. Yours in earnest, James Bartholomew. Is this an upper area that I wouldn't normally have access to? Oh, there's a letter. Come here, you little scamp. Gotcha. Should be one more page. Hmm. I think Adi's been around here. Dear elected official, thanks to the recent smoking ban in my state, I am happy to inform you I will not be voting for you in the next election. As everyone knows, smoking is being banned because the smoke is toxic to the aliens that the government sold our planet to in a secret deal. Okay, that's a that's an odd take, but let's give them a chance here. If humans keep smoking, the aliens won't be able to live on Earth. Our air would be poison to them. If you government traitors can't stop people from smoking when you then you won't get your millions of dollars from the aliens. If aliens are giving people human money, though, that would mean the money isn't being made by the treasury. Wouldn't that make the money counterfeit? Mm, I guess if the aliens have the printing plates. Mm. I have a website. People know what's going on. We're going to keep smoking no matter what. This is a national emergency. Politicians are handling the plan handing the planet over to alien overlords. We won't let you. We will resist. I will smoke forever. Signed, a proud smoker, rebel patriot. What a combination. Cat clock. My clock is shaped like a cat and its eyes move and I think it's angry but I keep apologizing and it won't stop but I said I'm sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. But it won't leave me alone and I don't know what it wants. I can't keep apologizing for... Do you see it now to... It told me everyone is here and I need to be careful so they don't need... Don't see me writing this letter. It wants me to stay with it with my eyes on its eyes and moving very fast, but I can't keep going, and I worry they will forget about me, so I need to write you about this because I can't keep going, but cat will because of its eyes. <laughs> okay, somebody was killed by their clock. In reality it wasn't even a clock. It was just a it was just a cat pretending to be a clock. I have access to all these letters now. These are these are good reads. Pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a 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 pinstripe world. I'm a plaid plaid suit in a pinstripe world. A plaid suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. Why is that line redacted? It's just the same thing. Is it... 
Did somebody just cross out a line even though it's all just the same sentence for giggles? Or did it actually say something different? What does it say? Okay, that one wasn't as interesting. Unless it was like a reference to something, I don't know. So, though so far that was the least interesting letter. Fucking stop it. There we go. Done and done. I almost thought about reading every single line of the pinstripe letter. I actually did right up until the part that was redacted. Moving letters. Black rock paneling suppresses the item's effect. A stack of four envelopes, each containing a single page of paper. All four letters are illegible due to extreme water damage. The envelopes, curiously, do not show any sign of such damage and are covered in messages of love. It's just love you, several times, written four times. The items are able to move short distances at a pace of less than... 73 times a second, and always in 42 directions. This is the first altered item to have multiple separate parts, a fact previously believed to be an impossibility by a whole bunch of fucking idiots who claimed it was impossible without actually knowing. A proposal to take the items outside the oldest house and to follow their movements to its final destination is under consideration with the budget committee. Wait, the budget committee is deciding that one? I wouldn't think the budget, the people regarding finances would be responsible for that kind of decision. The item was found in the Dead Letter Archives, where the head archivist found it attempting to escape a filing cabinet. She reports having no record of the items in her archive of letters. Hmm. Did somebody here at the oldest house write a letter? Or a couple of letters and then... Uh, who knows? Hey, I have questions and the prophets have your answer. Wait, you have questions and the prophet has have your answer. The, bleh, sorry, mm, excuse me, words. You have questions and the prophets have your answer. If you are truly intrigued, watch the time. We've lost about 45 days in the past four years. The shortening of days. This is why the Vatican is a sundial and is also simultaneously a keyhole. Another thing, while... I'm here, if you want the secret to everything, compare plasma next to brain cells. The sun plus moon are composed of plasma, simply light, not planets. After this is cemented in your psyche, ponder the current whereabouts of where you, I, and humanity reside. Cheers. Okay. Ladders clogging up the elevator. Nope. More documents? More letters! Vivid dreams, huh? To the esteemed members of the American Psychiatric Council, I am, I am writing you to inquire about the significance of dreams in relation to one's mental health. I am aware that there are many books purporting to contain the true meaning of dreams, why is true capitalized, but I have reservations about their legitimacy. I understand that this is not usually done, but if I would greatly but I would greatly but if I would greatly appreciate your thoughts on my condition. 
Ever since I was young, I have had intensely vivid dreams. Eh, I've been there. They only occur sporadically, but in them I witness very strange events. I understand dreams can seem real at the time, but these feel remarkably different. They do not occur often, perhaps only one or two a year. Last night I had one. I saw a small, empty town. It was utterly dark. There was a lake at its center. Shadows of people moved around me, muttering odd things. A bright light woke me up. I was screaming in my sleep. My wife had been shaking me for minutes before I woke. Is this another Alan Wake reference? This isn't the first one we found. Because of this recent incident, I have decided to seek help. The doctor says I am physically fine, but I wanted to consult your expertise. Thank you for your valuable time. Yours very sincerely, Richard Bowker. Bowker? Bowker? Bowker. I'm gonna... Bowker. Some letters are weirdly capitalized, or maybe those are just mistakes made by the person who wrote the letter. Another countermeasure taken care of. Ooh, another one for a jukebox token. Yeah, we don't have the time to go jukeboxing today. That's all of them. Let's go chat up Langston. Yeah, I'd say we got a fair bit done today. I'm glad we figured out the anchor issue. Just as I mentioned the anchor, the game freezes. Oh, not again. And see, it's the kind of freeze where I can't close the game unless I... Ah. Uh. Well, you see, I was going to go turn this task in to Langston, and then I was going to call it a day. But seeing as how the game is frozen and... I think what I need to do is every time before I start the game, I just need to bring up the task manager preemptively and move it over to the second monitor. Because I can't end the process if the game doesn't let me see the desktop or any other windows there. <sighs> God fucking... Alright, well, uh, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I'm glad we got the anchor sorted. Um... I just gotta, you know what, I'm actually going to make a note. I'm gonna make a... I'm gonna make a note in OBS, right? I'm going to... Hold on, I'm gonna make a... Add source. New source. Warning. Move task manager to second monitor. You dingus. There. Now I'm just going to leave that up at the top of my sources. I'm going to see that and I'm going to think, what did I leave there? Then I'm going to read it and I'll be like, oh yeah, that's a good idea. All right, uh, yeah, other than the horrible crashing and issues, we did solve one problem, and I'm glad, and I had fun today. So, I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm going to go... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the game closed on its own. I just had to wait. Oh, well, that's convenient. Well, I'm still going to end the stream now. Have a good one. See you around. Goodbye.